this is Kale with Kale Southern Living. I have never done these before, but I am going to start one of those question hashtags. Okay, so it's going to be 12 questions, and the hashtag is going to be hashtag Gail's questions 22. I will put that information in the description box. Okay, so here are the questions. What are your top two favorite ice cream flavors? Mine are pistachio almond and Rocky Road. Number two, what is your favorite flower? My favorite flower is an iris. Number three, if you could have any pet in the world and cost was not a factor, what would it be? Mine would be a dolphin. Love to have an aquarium in the backyard with a dolphin. That would be so cool. Swim with the dolphins. Yeah. That sounds awesome. I have an infatuation with ocean animals, so I can just sit at the aquarium and watch the ocean animals forever. That's the thing. I do that. Okay, number four. What is your favorite dish to make when you have company? Well, I have trouble narrowing that down to two. Because you know how you make fancier food when you have company. I either make beef enchiladas, or lasagna, usually. Occasionally, I'll make easy cheesy chicken. All those are recipes I've posted on my channel if you want to look at those. Number five, what is your favorite movie of all time and why? Mine is Rudy, which you would think would be not something I would like because it's a football movie, but the movie is very, very inspiring. That's why I like the movie. Sean Astin plays a character that gets stuck in a dead-end job because of his father's peer pressure. And the, the things his father says that kind of keep him down instead of raise him up. And so uh, that, that movie has always inspired me, made me cry, made me happy, made me sad. You know, just kind of the roller roller coaster of emotion with that movie. So that's why I like that movie. I've always liked that movie. As a matter of fact, I need to go and watch it again. If you've not watched the movie, Rudy, check it out. Number six, what is your favorite book or book, book series? Mine is Little House on the Prairies because I like old-fashioned ways and just the way things were so much more meaningful when we had less things. And that's why I like it. Going back to more simple times when people appreciated the things you do for them, the things you give them, the things you say to them. People just appreciated things more. And I love that. Number seven. What is your favorite fictional character and why? Mine has always been Tweety Bird. Um, why? Just because it's, you know, the sass, sassiness, you know, I love it. I love it. Number eight, what is your favorite thing to grow in the garden? Mine has always been zucchini. I just like zucchini. Um, number nine, most people have done their seed inventory already. Come on, you know you have. I have. What do you still want to grow that you don't have? And for me, it's tomatillos. I don't have any of those. And there's a couple of different ways to say that. I've heard different people say it different ways, but that's how I say it here in Texas. Number 10. What are your top three activities you look forward to every year? Mine are gardening. I always... I usually always take a break in the winter and then start in the spring. However, I have, have actually started peppers. So that's unusual for me, but I have started some peppers under the grow light. So gardening, traveling. I love traveling. Every year I look forward to traveling. And this year in the summer, we're planning to go to Tennessee. My first time ever. We're just going to go visit a few things there. I'm looking forward to it. It'll be my first time. And Christmas. I always look forward to Christmas. 
as it starts getting October, November, I always look forward to Christmas. Number 11. What is your favorite hot beverage in the winter? That would either be hot spice tea or hot chocolate. Number 12. What would you like to do if you woke up and there was snow on the ground? Well, if I was by myself, I would say read a book. If people were with me, probably snowball fight or snowman. Okay, for the last thing, I'm going to ask you to call out three channels that you want to get to know better. And I'm going to do more since I'm starting the hashtag. Let me say the hashtag one more time. Hashtag Gail's Questions 22. I am calling out Blackberry Rock Homestead, Yogi Hollow Farm, Ariel Viking Venture and Vituals, Red Road Homestead, Crystal the Yarny Chicken and Crazy Cat Lady, Freehandly Made. Also, this is open to anyone else who wants to do it. I'm just calling out a few to get it started. So if you want to do it, just go ahead and do the hashtag. I will type out the questions in the description box. If you want to do it, the questions will be out there for you. And I hope some of you guys will join in and do this hashtag before our gardening season gets started. And just let us get to know you a little bit better. Bye, everybody. Have a great day. Be blessed. Do something kind, guys. Thank you.